Welcome back to the Blessing Workshop. I'm Bob. And as usual, we're having our Trump coffee. But I got started on a project here, and I thought I would kind of show you my way through this. Um, the motor was perfect. And what I'll do, I'll show you some pictures of it to start with. I believe I have some. If not, then this will go on and you won't see any pictures. But anyway, um, I decided to take it apart because it's been in the floor in my way every time I walk in the door. And that's why I put things in front of the door. That way I get tired of going around it and do something about it. But I'll bring you down here and show you what I've got. I've already taken it apart. I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. And the inside of it, that's what it looked like. Now, these are the big old flakes of rust that came off of it. All this. Flaky rust. And it ain't done yet. I still haven't got it all. So, I've got to take a hammer and a screwdriver or a pick, anything like that. And we got to go around and pick all that stuff off of there. And we're going to get the worst of it by picking it off of there. And then we'll take a wire wheel. And just wire wheel all that off of there. But when I opened this up, I found that it was full of oil. So I'm thinking it's mineral oil. The stuff that you use inside of computers when you build a computer with mineral oil. Because this whole area was full of that mineral oil. Uh, the armature and the windings, everything was in mineral oil. I've never seen that before. So that is why the inside of this looks so pretty. You know, I mean look, look at how the inside of that thing looks. Brand new. It's just the outside is in really bad shape. Oh, and I'm spilling that. You know, up in here, and I guess that's where you fill it with mineral oil. So, we got a lot of cleaning to do. You know, here is the switch that I got to get apart and take, clean this up, clean all that up in there. Make sure all these seals are good. So far, we've been able to say it, salvage every seal. Because the rubber seals are not in that bad of shape. And this lock, well it's actually a handle for you to handle it with. It's just a rod that's bent to shape and goes in a hole on each side of that, like a brake cylinder cap. So we've got to take that off, and it's rusted to pieces. And me trying to get out of that, I'm probably going to have to drill that out. Because I don't see me getting that broke loose. But we're going to try to heat that and squirt it with some penetrating oil, heat it, but we don't want to melt anything, so we got to be careful. We might just grind it off and re-drill it. And, you know, wire outside of it. we got to break all the old rust that's on it off. And then wire wheel all that. And the switch works just fine. This is the plunger that I just lost the thing out of. This is the plunger that goes on there just like so. Just like that. And 
and it's in good shape. It's just a matter of getting all this stuff cleaned off of it. And then I'm going to have to, I found two rods that I'm going to straighten this side up a little bit and make it like this. That should be enough to make me a new piece here and use the other one for this other, uh, for the handle. But this is the same size material. So I got to make that piece because it's so rusted it's almost broken too right here. So we'll make a new piece for that and clean up all the rubber that's still in good shape. Just got to clean the rust off of it. Clean this up. And I believe that seal will still work. But we're going to put RTV gasket maker on it when we put it back together. The seal was good. Obviously it was good because look at the inside of it. How good it looks. You know this dirt here is just stuff that fell in there when I lifted that stuff over top of it. But that's how clean it was when I opened it. So obviously it's the seal works. And this here was just as clean as could be. So basically we get all this rust taken off of it. And get it cleaned up, wire wheeled, repainted. All this put together, we'll have like a brand spanking new one. The propeller. is in pretty good shape. Here's the seals and the rubber o-rings. All that's still good. It just needs to be cleaned up. The propeller just unscrews from the armature. And then here is the uh, armature. All it needs is this wire wheel right there. Then we got the bottom, and that's exactly how it looked. So it can be cleaned up on the back side. This all right here looked like that right there. So I, I'm still wire wheeling it. I'm trying to get it as green as I can get it. Oh. So, the next thing we need to do is wire wheel all this, put it in the vise and start wire wheeling everything and chipping away at it. So, I guess we'll meet you at the uh, vise. Alright guys. What we've got is drill with a wire wheel on it, a poker with a point, a brush, and a pocket knife. And basically we're just going through and making sure this thing's smooth by getting rid of as much of that rust as we possibly can. And there's a whole bunch of it right here. So we just want to get that down as close as we can by just pecking on it. Because it's just flaky rust. So you got to poke all that off of there.
All right, so we've got this ready to go. All we got to do is mask off all this right here. And it's ready for paint. So I want to clean these threads out a little bit more with a pick. And mask it off. And mask that rubber off. I'd like to take it out there. I don't know. I'm afraid to take it out and break it. So I think I'm just going to leave it in there. But it's ready for paint. And that's going to look like a brand new one. Almost. So. I do believe that will end this portion of, there it is, <laughs> looking all over the place for my damn paintbrush, uh, that will end part one of the sub pump rebuild, we don't know if this thing's going to work, uh, I know that it did work before I took it apart. <laughs> now whether it works when I get it back together that's a whole other story so uh, this will end part one and uh, we're going to see if we can get this thing to look like a brand new one or as close to a brand new one as we can so don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe let me know what you think you guys have a good one. Later.